Hey guys, this is going to be a fairly comprehensive tutorial on how to enable all of Facebook's security features on your account. So if you've ever had any issues with people trying to hack into your account or uh, maybe friends trying to guess your password or something like that, then these security options, uh, which are fairly unknown to most users, can really help you out. So what I'm going to be doing is going through Facebook's security features and explaining how they work and how they can help protect your account. So the first thing you need to do is go to Account Settings and then click on Security on the left-hand side. Uh, setting a security question, um, basically this allows Facebook to um, add an additional mechanism of verification of who you are before you can change your account settings. So you can choose one of their uh, questions here and then save changes. Um, so Secure Browsing, which is not enabled by default, Secure browsing essentially passes all of your traffic over SSL via HTTPS, which is the secure method that websites use to pass traffic between you, the user, and the server without allowing people to intercept and monitor that traffic. So um, a while ago, some attacks came out where people were, uh, especially if you were using open Wi-Fi networks, people were tracking the traffic um, that was sent over the network and they were intercepting your cookie, your session cookie, which is essentially what Facebook uses to identify you as a user. And they were copying that session cookie into their own account, or not their own Facebook account, but they were using it to mimic your own account. So um, it was a very easy way for them to break into your account. And by enabling HTTPS, you can essentially prevent that. Um, login notifications. Login notifications will give you a notification when someone else logs into your account. Um, however, if you use Facebook a lot from different computers and you're logging in from the library and from you know, the coffee shop, that kind of stuff, you're probably going to be getting lots of notifications. Um, these notifications, which you can enable via email or text message, will instantly alert you when your account's been logged into. So if you do enable it and somebody logs into your account, you'll get an email right away saying, you know, hey, somebody logged in from this location, here's their IP address, and it'll give you an option to change your password right from there. So um, there's another option here, which is login approvals. Now, login approvals will require you to enter a security code every time an unrecognized computer tries to access your account. So you can set up um, recognized devices on Facebook. And so, for example, you can have your laptop, your smartphone, and your tablet as recognized devices. And these devices will log on without any issue. However, if somebody else tries to log into your account, so if you go to the library and log in from there, you're going to have to enter an extra security code in order to do that. So that essentially prevents devices from logging into your account uh, if they haven't been already authorized by you to do so. Uh, it's a great option, especially if you don't log in via other devices that often, which most people probably don't. All right, app passwords. So when you log in via various apps, if you've seen around the internet the button that says log in with Facebook. Now this is a button that essentially allows you to log into that application using your Facebook account. But it sort of shares your own password, your Facebook password, with that account. So um, if you're logging into questionable websites or websites that you're not sure about the security of, you can set up an app password and that will allow you to use a different password for applications than you use for your Facebook account. So even if an application or your account on a different website gets compromised, your Facebook account and all the other applications that you have set up with it aren't compromised as well. And uh, finally here, you can edit your recognized devices. And um, what, allows that, what that allows you to do is uh, it sort of goes hand in hand up here with the uh, login approvals. Once you approve a device such as your laptop or tablet to log in, it gets added to the recognized devices list. And active sessions at any time you can see who's logged into your Facebook account and from where. So that's uh, a pretty comprehensive list of all of the security features that Facebook offers. Uh, sometimes when you log in, you'll see an option that says something along the lines of um, make sure you connect a phone number to this account so that if you're logged out or if someone changes your password, you can still recover your account. Um, that is a good way, but make sure that once you do add your number that you change your privacy settings so that that's, that, that information isn't shared publicly. So everything you need to know is located right here in the security tab of Facebook settings. 
uh, if you're not sure what one of these things does or didn't understand something I said, leave a comment and I'll definitely try to help you out.